Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can utilize Oxcode to kind of view and control your Docker containers that you have running. Um, it's kind of a nice uh, interface because it's just a text user interface, so you don't have to go to a browser or anything. It's just all in your GUI that you're using. Um, and personally, I like just the text terminal interface a lot because that's kind of what I do a lot in my day job. So, um, you know, you just sit behind a computer and do more text based stuff as opposed to GUI user interface. But um, depending on your uh, flavor, <clears throat> this may not be it and you might want to use something like Portainer or something else. So, but if you're interested, feel free to continue watching the video. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So let's get started guys. All right, so um, we're going to log into one of our um, servers that we created a while back um, and I think um, we're going to log into our link warden. <clears throat> uh, cat dog compose. Yeah, so this will have a Postgres and the app. <clears throat> so to get started, um, if you go and search up Oxker GitHub, there is a nice <clears throat> GitHub here that will essentially just pretty much give you the command to run to get this nice, simple text user interface to view your Docker containers that you're running on your machine. Um, and as well as some controls that you can do to like restart a container or whatnot. So we'll scroll down, we'll go to um, the Docker section and we'll actually copy this and then run this. Um, so essentially this will pull down and it will give you this now user interface. So you can see, um, <clears throat> You can use the up arrows. There's a help menu if you hit H to kind of tell you what, you know, all your things that you can do with it. Um, if you hit tab, you can see that it actually highlights the colors of the boxes, blue for what you're selected on. So like right now I'm selected on the logs tab. So you can see I'm moving up and down on the logs. And if I hit tab again, I'm back on the container. So I'm up here. Um, so you can see, you can select a container. You can see the logs for that specific container. Um, as well as you can pause, restart, stop, and delete a container. So like, for, say for example, we want to restart our app, we can hit enter on restart, and it would restart the app essentially here. Um, I don't know if any logs would appear. I think it's actually end of restarting. Um, yeah, so now you can see it actually is restarting now. So you can see up for four seconds, everything's restarting, things, things are, the logs just went through, and there you go. So you can actually even restart. Um, the nice thing I kind of like about this is it actually kind of tells you how much like CPU and like memory it's using. I think that's kind of hard to kind of tell when you have like a lot of containers to say, hey, which container is using the most memory and whatnot. So you can see overall system stuff via Docker and whatnot. So this kind of gives you just a little nice user uh, test technical text user interface um, for you to kind of just review some of the Docker stuff that you are writing. So. That's pretty much it for Ox here. Um, there, there might be a few other things in it. I haven't gone through like the whole GitHub, but from my initial view, I like it. Um, and if you're looking for something to kind of help you visualize um, from a tech, text interface, this is something I would recommend. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.